why fasting doesn't work. Intermittent fasting coach Gabrielle Amy is here with you today and today we're going to talk about why some people are saying that fasting just does not work for them. In most cases it's because they are not doing it right. Now a lot of people think if you just fast for 16 hours every day you're just going to lose this dramatic amount of weight and weight's just going to start falling off you. Unfortunately, that is not how it works. I am today going to tell you how to kickstart weight loss and then to continue weight loss so you don't put the weight back on, all with the power of intermittent fasting. So if you're serious about healthy aging and wanting to look and feel 10 years younger naturally, keep watching as this is an episode you cannot miss. Now is a really good time to like and subscribe to my channel. So the first thing you need to do is gradually break your way into fasting. Because if you're new to fasting, it's going to be very daunting going straight into long fasts. But unfortunately, to get the weight off, you actually do need to do a long fast at some point to get your metabolism and your stomach microbiome all working properly. So then the weight just starts falling off. So let's see how we do it. So the first thing to do is start with a 13 hour fast. So that is where you um, fast for 13 hours, which is quite easy, so think about it. That would mean if you finish dinner at eight o'clock, by 9 a.m. the next morning you can eat. So really, I don't think that's gonna be that hard to do. And if you do wake up hungry, just have a cup of black tea, black coffee, and some water. And by nine o'clock, you could start eating again. So that's your 13 hour fast. Do this and then the next day say, okay, I'm going to add another round. I'm not going to eat till 10 o'clock. And then when you wake up, if you're feeling hungry, put a little pinch of pink Himalayan salt in your water. Get the MCT oil. And I've gone on and on about this in many of my videos, how important it is to have the tools at hand that you can use, the hacks at hand you can use to um, help sustain a fast. So what are these? It's water, black coffee, black tea or green tea, MCT oil, which is a medium chain triglyceride coconut oil, which you can get at pretty much most supermarkets and health food stores. It's derived from coconut oil, so it's literally just pure coconut oil and salt, not just any table salt, We're talking a pink Himalayan salt or Celtic. So make sure you, before you start any fast, you have these things at hand. Um, the salt, the MCT, and whatever beverage of choice, and plenty of pure filtered water, okay? So you've done your 13 hour fast. The next day you've done 14, you wake up, you're a bit hungry, so you put a pinch of uh, salt in your water. So basically you keep extending these fasts till you get to 16. Then do a week of doing 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of eating so you get your body used to this. Once you've done this, then start um, increasing these to uh, 17 hours and 18 hours of fasting. As soon as you start feeling hungry and weak, which everyone is telling me the symptoms are, oh, I feel weak, I feel hungry, I feel nauseous, I feel dizzy. That's because you're not putting the pink Himalayan salt or Celtic salt in your water. Water now does have no minerals in it. So when you are fasting, you are depleting your body of its potassium and magnesium. So you have to supplement this. So put some of these um, salts in your water. They're high in minerals, the minerals that your body has depleted. So you don't feel sick and weak. Drink plenty of water, drink plenty of black tea, black coffee, add your MCT oil as much as you want. Now, MCT oil cannot turn to fat. It has to turn to ketones. It's just no other choice. That's what it does in your body. So you're not gonna get fat by putting MCT uh, coconut oil in your black tea, your black coffee, your green tea, or your water, because it's going straight to ketones. And the longer you fast, the more you are going into ketosis, and then by adding the MCT oil, you're actually pushing yourself further into ketosis. And what you're doing is you are burning fat for fuel. So you can see when people say to me, fasting doesn't work, I don't lose weight on um, fasting, it is pretty much near impossible not to lose weight because you are burning fat for fuel. 
in the absence of food. So the studies have shown that people always lose weight by doing fasting because they're missing out on food. Then they're, they're skipping meals. So you have to lose weight. The only way you will not lose weight is in that eating window. So say you're doing a 16 hour fast and you can eat for eight hours. If in that eight hour window, you just gorge and stuff yourself full of all the food you could have eaten throughout the day. Yes, you are not going to lose weight because you were just pigging out and being ridiculous. So if you could just limit the, what you're eating to what you feel like eating and not just a big pig out during that eight hours, you will definitely lose weight because you were skipping usually one to two meals. So you've mastered this and you've got your 16, eight hour fasting down pat. And every couple of days you've added a couple of hours and done an 18, a 20 hour. And now it is time to do the 36, 12 hour fast. And this is where you fast for 36 hours and you eat for 12 hours. And it is not that hard. So think about it. You have your last meal at seven o'clock at night. You go to bed. The next day you wake up, you put your pink Himalayan salt or your Celtic salt in your water. When you wake up, you can have up to two to three teaspoons a day throughout the day because that is how much salt you are not getting from the food and that your uh, kidneys are uh, depleting while you are fasting. So get a quarter of a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, put that in your water, drink that, then go and do your morning walk, come back, have a nice cup of black coffee, have a couple of cu cups of black coffee or black tea or green tea, whatever your preference is, just keep drinking that. And as soon as you feel hungry, get your MCT or put a big squirt of it or a tablespoon in your coffee, keep drinking that and that will help, help you sustain a fast. You're feeling a bit weak, oh, I'm a bit hungry, add some more salt to your water and just do this throughout the day and just keep saying to yourself, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I can eat and I can eat for a full 12 hours. So as the day progresses and you actually mind over matter, just start saying to yourself, I can do this. It's only tomorrow. It's one day I'm going without food. And it's really not that hard because most of this 36 hour fast, you are sleeping. So then go to bed as normal at seven o'clock you can eat. So what I always do on these longer fasts is I make something really nice for myself to eat. So I've got something forward to when I break my fast. So a really delicious thing is get some um, nice ricotta or goat's cheese, whatever your preference is. Get nice organic blueberries, uh, blackberries, raspberries, put them in a bowl or a tub then get some nice date syrup. You can get this just at your local supermarket. If you can't get date syrup, get some um, organic pure maple syrup. If you can't find that, use honey. Put a nice uh, dose of that into the bowl. Then I toast up some organic coconut flakes and flaked almonds. So I just roast them in a bit of butter, a bit of uh, um, organic olive oil. I just toast them in a fry pan with a tiny bit of salt. I have them in separate tubs and I put some of the coconut and then I put some of the almonds. I then put a bit of uh, pure vanilla essence. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. And then I crumble more goat's cheese or put more ricotta. I seal that in a container in the fridge. And I look at it and I go, oh my goodness, tomorrow when I wake up, I can have that. And that's my treat. And that's what pushes me through. And another way to break your fast is with this delicious banana breakfast shake recipe. Get an organic banana, two organic eggs, a scoop of protein, collagen powder, MCT or olive oil, maca, honey, pinch of pink Himalayan salt, a quarter a cup of yogurt. And I personally prefer to use the sheep or goat yogurt, and also add some filtered water. Pop all this in your little blender and drink that. And it is a fantastic breakfast shake if you're on the run, because you can just put it in a container and off you go. And usually when I wake up at seven, I'm not really hungry. So I go, you know what? I'll put some pink Himalayan salt in my water. I'll do my uh, morning walk along the river. I'll come back, I'll have a black coffee, and then if I feel like eating, then I will have my beautiful treat waiting in the fridge. 
And usually then it's actually, I've done longer than a 36 or a, um, I've done like a 38 or 40 hour fast because I'm just eating what I'm hungry. And that is a really good way to kick start your metabolism. And I guarantee you just doing that small little fast will just really start rev things up for you. So when you then go back into your 16, and, um, 16 hours and eight hours, 16 hours um, fasting an eight hour window, you'll start seeing the weight coming off. But you really need to stick to this. You can't say I did it one day, didn't work, so I just ate normally the next day. You really need to make this just part of how you live. This is just what you do. You only eat at certain times and I'm doing this all the time. I go out, I've just been out to lunch with a girlfriend. I watched her, had lunch and I just had a big pot of green tea and it actually makes me feel so strong when I'm going, no, it's okay, I'm fasting. Because I know whatever she's eating, I can eat that later. I just choose, so it's not what you eat, it's when you eat. Start training your mind to think that way because what's more important, that you just sit there gorging yourself all the time or you have the body you want and you feel happy within yourself and in your body and your mind's much better, your skin is rejuvenating, your whole body's rejuvenating every time you're doing these longer fasts and going into autophagy, autophagy, the Greek language for auto self, autophagy meaning eating, and that can really only happen way after a 16 hour fast. So when you're doing a longer fast of 20 hours, 36 hours, 38 hours, you are literally rejuvenating. So the longer you can do those, the better you're gonna look, the better you're gonna feel, the better your brain health is, and the younger, more youthful you're going to look. That's just a few tips on what to do to kickstart the weight loss. In a previous video, I talked about the uh, losing 3.5 kilos in one week, and that's just by doing that 36 hour, 12 hour eating fast just for one week, that you'll lose three and a half kilos. So if you do that and you really wanna kickstart weight loss, do that for one week and then continue doing your 16, 18 hour fasts every day and just watch the weight fall off you. Just see how vibrant and amazing you feel. And that's all the inspiration you need is yourself because you feel so good. Knowledge is power. Each week I bring you a new video with the latest cutting edge research on intermittent fasting. So make sure you don't miss out by hitting the like and subscribe button so you can keep learning about the incredible benefits of intermittent fasting and how it can make a huge positive impact on your life. Thanks for watching. Bye from me, Gabrielle Amy is your intermittent fasting coach and mentor.